Hello, welcome to my page. I'm Gina. Thanks for stopping by. Or to my channel, I guess. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be working on Faith Filled Collaging 2024. This is a challenge by Angela at Jump Journal Junction and Anna at Making Joyful Journals. And so they have our monthly list here of what we are going to be using each month. So in March, we're using green and brown for our colors. Our texture is texture paste. Our paper one is doily, a paper doily. Our paper two is a calendar page. Our, our verse is Hebrew 11.1, 1, and our focal image is Jesus. So, Hebrew 11.1 1 says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, and the conviction of things not seen. I'm going to work outside my Bible today, because we're using um, embossing paste, and I want to... I don't, I don't want to stick it on there. And I want to know that I've got it okay. So my picture, I cut this out of here. And Jesus with the little children just made me think of um, faith like a child, having faith like a child. So that's the reason I chose that one. It was really hard too. I mean, just, I got it out of this, um, I just didn't know if I should cut it, but I did. It's a 1958 ideal and it is gorgeous it has just beautiful pictures but it came from right here and, um, I went ahead and did it but this I, the paper feels so nice these, these old ones are just gorgeous I think the pictures that they have in them the artwork truly talented people drew these they're gorgeous just thought I'd give you a little peek in it. But anyway, so that's what we're going to be using. <coughs> Calendar. I was really stuck on that, and, and I remembered. I'm sorry, i got to get a drink real quick. I remember my Grow and Grace is what I am doing my Marguerite Miller in. I do that, and it's got um, these um, dividers. So, um, I took this one out that says Faith, and I'm going to use it, and it's green. So that's for my calendar. And then I have a couple stencils set out. I don't know which one I'll use. I'm kind of stuck on stencil. I have a paper doily. I'm not sure. We're just going to start putting this together and see what happens. So I really think... That this needs to go over here. Excuse me, I forgot I have green and brown paper to put on here somewhere too. I'm sorry, I have the hiccups. Um, it's gonna have to go on this side. This is, and I didn't ink that up. I need to ink that up a little bit. Is there. And then I thought that I would have to cut this out and do and put faith down the side. And I think, as I'm sitting here thinking about doing that, I think I will use this trimmer. This trimmer. I oh I thought I broke another one. I broke this one and can't ever make it work. I still have the thing, but it won't work. I think the blade. I have the. I have the thing, but it doesn't do me any good when I try to. So I think I don't know. There must be a blade missing. Which I got that for this one exactly, which is decal. <laughs> oh well. But this one puts a a mild scallop, just a little bit of a scallop, and I kind of think that might be nice to do. And let's see, I think I want this side facing this way if I remember this trimmer right. It looks like it ought to be going like this on this side, but it doesn't. It does the opposite of what I always think it should. 
so because if you look at the picture I don't know but we're gonna try this I hope this is right maybe I should try it on a piece of paper first um, surely I don't have to try on this See, I thought you could cut your paper this way and it would cut this way, but it doesn't. Okay, that makes me feel better. All right, let's get this thing done here. And then we'll turn it around and we'll do this side. I'm probably not making any sense, but. So, I don't know if you can see the edging, but that's what it did for the edge in there. And I will save that because that's pretty color. I can use that on something probably. Um, you know, I hope that fits. I never made sure that even fits on my page. <laughs> Won't be something if I did all that and it doesn't even fit. Oh, look at that. It's like it's made for it. Wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> Okay, let's put some ink on this. Oh, and I'm using um, gathered twigs. This gets more brown on my page. I don't. I don't know if this is going to show at all when I said them, and it's just a thin piece of brown that um, I wanted to work on just to have. Okay, now we need to figure out the doily. I have bigger doilies if I need a bigger one. Or how do I have this open there? If I remember right, I didn't. It just kind of opened on its own. Can't get a hold of just one. There we go. Well, that got stuff everywhere, didn't it? bits of the paper doily. Um, let's see. Could put it right there. That would be pretty. Alright, I think that's what I'll do. Just put that right there. First though, I want this paper back here. And um, let's see. Let me make a mark to where it needs to go. I'll put it to about right here. I was going to mark both, but I don't need to. I can just. I need to cut my paper down. I'll cut my paper down to five inches. I don't know, I don't know how long this was. I just marked it in my Bible and cut it nine and a quarter. script on it. Uh, do you do that? You're like, okay, I need to save this for this. <laughs> Cut it that way because I can use that script for that. <laughs> okay. So we'll put the, oh, I somehow ended up with that too long. Not much. But we'll put this over here. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. And I will just cut it down one I get it on there. I hope I'm within the frame. Yep. Yeah, okay. Got glue on my head. Oops. Uh, my hands are not working again today.
else on here? Oops. I don't have it. There we go. There we go. I'll have one of my little scrapers out. Okay, stencils, you're like bothering me. Okay, so I can cut that off. And this is a great way if working in your Bible makes you nervous. This is, oh, I didn't get it covered right there. Oh no. I think I'll just trim this all down. But anyway, if working in your Bible makes you nervous, then this is a great way to do it because um, if you mess it up, I won't fit in there. If you mess it up, you can start over and you're not in your Bible. I work in my Bible, but I kind of like doing this. The only thing is, it does add. A little bit of extra bulk, but not much. That's why I chose a thin paper for my bottom paper. There we go. Now it's all covered. And it'll be okay, because I think I was going to have to trim a little off the side. Okay, and then this is going to go right here, right side up. And have the brown showing on that side. So I want to get, okay, this is going to go here, let's get this attached to here, how I want it, and then we'll figure out what I'm going to do for stenciling, oops, that's upside down. That's about right. So I'm going to attach the doily to this. And how I'm going to do that is, um, I'm not sure, um, maybe just some hot glue. I just want to get it in place so that it quits moving. hot glue all over my hand a second. Then I'm just going to cut this side off because we don't need this side on there. Okay, so that will put that like that. Yes, I like that. Okay. Now for stenciling. I don't know. I could stencil just a little along this side, couldn't I? Because it's, I got, I got me two, I got several choices. I got my white, I've got grit paste, which I've never used. I wasn't sure what I would be doing. And then I've got my lunar gold. I've got some others down here that I'm always forgetting about. Oh, I don't think any of those are going to work. I was hoping the green, but I don't know. Oh, they're starting. To, I don't know if those are. Huh. I hope those are still good. Hmm. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go with gold and go down this side right here. So we're going to move this stuff out of the way, and I have this that we'll use. Um, it's stained, but it's okay. And we'll just put a little bit, going, a little texture going down this edge.
this stuff is really pretty when it dries. It's Lunar Paste and it's Gold Rush. Um, trying to get this semi-straight here. this up because I moved it. Okay. Then, let's see, I need to match it. It's a good match right there. And go down the rest of the page. Okay, that worked. So what I'm gonna do is dry this and then I'll be right back, okay? I'm gonna clean everything off and dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, got that done. But I have a problem. When I was moving it, I mushed it right here. So I think I think that maybe we can fix cover that up, not fix it, cover it up. What I'm wondering is take um, the other part of this doily. Oops, what's on there now? String. And that's stuck on me. Okay. Take the other side of this doily and just put it on this. And that will help to mask. I'm going to have to cut a little bit off the bottom. Because I want it about right there. So, I think that's what we're going to do. Now, how do I? I know. I'll put just a little bit of glue. I'm not going to use my hot glue this time. Because there's not very much room there. Put it a little bit further over then. So I oh, need to go over a little bit with this. Put it about right there. I had more than I thought. But okay, and then we'll cut off the bottom. And that should work. I didn't cut off the bottom very good though, it's showing. So then we'll put that there and that well there's still a little bit you can see here but it's not like that big smeared part why when I did that I thought oh, are you kidding me I can't believe I just did that okay so we'll put this put this picture down cover up part of the rock. That's okay. It, no, that's not okay because it's covering Jesus' face. That won't work. Right there will work. We'll put it right there. So. I'm 
I'm going to worry about the doilies after I get this done. Get the glue on them. I'll put this down and then I'll lift the doilies up and put glue on them. here. Oh, didn't know what I touched there for a minute. This one's kind of coming apart a little bit, but I'm going to glue it down and it'll be okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> so there's... There. There we go. And I need to ink along the edges. I'm sitting here trying to decide if I want to gild the edge of this. This, this edge of it. gilding polish but I have a problem with that I always I said prime so I did but um, I get big clumps we'll try it Let's see if I can do it without getting big clumps here see I got way too much I think pretty though. That looks really pretty. I like how that looks. Okay. I'm going to pause you and get that dry. I'll be right back. Okay, now we'll get it in my Bible. Let's see how. Oh, that is going to leave more than I thought. I wonder about putting a strip of this paper on my Bible page or adding it to this. I don't know. I don't know that I like all that much showing back there. That's a lot. I think I'm going to take just a little bit of this and put it on there. Oh, I can't use that one, can I? I knew that. I don't know. I was deep in thought. <laughs> So I think I will just take about that much off, and then I forget the length of this, nine and a quarter, is it nine and a quarter? Yeah, nine and a quarter. Cut this off. And then glue this over here, like this, and then this will be on top of that. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Oops. 
coming over the edge just a little bit. Must not be quite nine and a quarter. <laughs> it's close, but not quite. I'm not make sure my pages are gone. I might need to come in just a little bit if I can. My pages are getting hard to turn anyway. Okay, so then this. And I like how that looks. I probably should have edged that. I didn't think about that. But it's too late now. <laughs> okay, so we'll put this in here. Okay, I'm not worried about that. And this is our December, our December one right here. So that's why I have that little washi tape there. I went and I washi taped all the ones that I was going to need for this challenge so that I wouldn't cover them with something else. I had something, but this one I just did the tag for, so um, that'll be okay. Sometimes I do that. I just do a tag and stick it in there. Okay, now I thought for... Um, the Bible verse. I'm just going to use my um, watercolors and I'll use my gold, which is right here. I don't know if I need a little bit of water on there. Get this thing flowing. It's going good. And I'll just pick up some of this gold. And come over here. Just do that. I definitely have the green and brown on here and the texture paste and the paper doily and my calendar page Hebrews 11 and I have Jesus so let me hold this up so you can see it closer I really like it Thank you for joining me today. You have a blessed day. I'll see you soon, and I'll have information linked below if you would like to join in on this challenge. Bye!